We're stepping back to an iconic era where bell-bottom jeans, disco, and variety shows reign supreme. Welcome to the 70s. That's right, babe. That's right, that's right. And no duo is as iconic as Sonny and Cher, whose hit variety show had them dressing up in costumes and welcoming celebrity guests. That's right, now. This is, this is my whole bit. <laughs> and ready for his role as one of the Knights of the Round Table in Monty Python's Spamalot on Broadway. Please welcome Michael Yuri. Another. Everything is flammable. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. So, Michael, uh, morning. Take us back in time to your childhood. Mm. What were Halloweens like for you? Oh, in the suburbs of Texas, we would go out, you know, towards the end of the evening and get all the candy we could. My greatest uh, Halloween costume, I think, was an iPod. I was an iPod. Oh my gosh! Uh, right You're when so they came out. young. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, I was playing. Uh, you know, I had like a little white string coming out of my head with like these little puffs that were there yeah. and, and a square. You remember iPods, yes. right? And I was playing Don't Stand So Close to Me by the police. Incredible. So people would get up close. And we would be Walkman. have to stand back. We would be 8-track tapes. 8-track tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you and your partner dress up? We don't. Oh. You know, we're always in plays. He's an actor too, so right. we're always, so always, always dressing costume, up. Always right. dressing up, but we do like to dress our dog up. President McKinley. Oh, dog. President McKinley. She like there she is. She's like, oh. of course. Oh. Oh, boy. That's one. And then oh. uh, one year she was a bad dog. She's <laughs> so cute. Oh my God. She's the best. And she comes to the theater. She's, She's a theater, theater dog. dog. Theater dog. She's at, she comes to the show all the time. Uh -huh. and one time she even almost got on stage. Ooh. She, she kind of went rogue and she ended up back. I shouldn't even be telling this. They're, they're going <laughs> to forbid her from coming. No, it's but fine. This is what people want to hear. Absolutely. Well, she's a Broadway dog. She she wants she wants that limelight. Hey, back on Broadway. Our first performance is tonight. Tonight, tonight. is our tonight first, first performance. Tonight is our first performance. And you guys, this only happened because of you. I was what? on this show. I remember that. And you were in D.C. at the time, We right? had just done Spamalot at the Kennedy Center in D.C., yeah. and then I came to visit you guys, and you said, is this show going to Broadway? And guess what? Now we're on Broadway. Oh, my because God. Are you nervous about tonight? Are you butterflies? Are you butterflies? It's our first performance. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but I have this thing that I do. One time, um, I found out early on in the performances of a show that Barry Manilow had bought a <laughs> ticket. Oh, my God. And I'm not just a fan -alo. No, I am a, such a fan -alo. I am an ambassador. <laughs> He's my absolute favorite. When I found out he was coming, I said, do not tell me when he's coming. I do not want to know. And I just pretended he was there every night. Every night, yeah. And that was great. You were amazing every night. It worked out really well so for me. So who are you pretending is going to be there tonight? Manilow. Always Manilow. 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 It's always Manilow. Oh, my gosh. All right, so when you're in the theater, do you ever have any misbehaved uh, theater goers, yeah, cell phones? It happens. You know. yeah. Why don't people understand to turn their cell phones off? I don't get it. What's worse to me than turning your phone off, even, you know, because, like, Sometimes you forget whatever, uh, uh, but uh -huh. if you're on your phone oh, no, no, during no. a play, I was in a play with Patty Lapone. Oh, no. boy. And the police, no. the police, <laughs> theater cop Patty Lapone, <laughs> and somebody was on their phone through the whole show, and she snatched it out of their hands. <laughs> she literally walked over and took it. Is that all? And then she got backstage. <laughs> she took say, it. Is she that got, all she did? Yeah. <laughs> she punched them. They got, no, no. She got backstage and she goes, I got the phone. She didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, so but, what did she do with it? Well, I, I would have she... taken a bunch of selfies. <laughs> They're bad. Exactly. I think eventually it got back to the owner, but uh, yeah, don't don't be on your phone, no. especially if Patty Lapone's in the exactly because <laughs> she will see you. She will destroy you. Yeah, I, s I swear she has like compound vision. She sees and hears every misbehaving audience member. Yeah, it's wild what we can what we can see in the audience. You know, they're in the dark. You think that you're in the dark when you're in the audience. Oh, no. yeah. We can you see can you. We, we are aware yeah. of exactly. what you're doing.
hearing and we are judging you. I've got to know, I'm having so much fun as a brunette. Are you having more fun as a blonde? Kelly. I can't tell you how much I like being blonde. Really? I did not realize this was going to happen until I put this wig on. I am beautiful. Wait. <laughs> Everything has changed. You are so I love it so hey, much. Are those your dance shoes? Do you get to do a little dancing on the show? Okay, so we dance our faces off. Yeah. And um, when we did this in D.C., these are I was... comfy. These are so cozy. They're atoms. They are painted silver. Um, our incredible costume department has given us cozy shoes. When we did this in D.C., I was, like, clunking around in these yeah. hard-soled shoes. And I was like, this is my knees. I'm, you know, my, my, my back. And I, I'm on stage dancing, and I look over... And King Arthur is wearing Nikes. No. And I'm like, wait. And then I look in Lancelot's in Pumas. And I realize I'm the only schmo wearing these right, hard exactly. soled shoes. Exactly. And so now, and so now they those gave us are these incredible. Beautiful, you uh, won't even know. You watch the show, you think we're in these like silver, beautiful things. I know. You were showing us backstage. And if, if people are watching the, uh, you know, we're doing this yeah, live this is, behind the yeah. scenes coverage of the show. And. You took us through the magic. This is great. Because it looks like it's metal and on metal and on, on it steel. It looks like chain mail and yeah. steel, uh -huh. but it's, it's plastic, and this is made of rope. This incredible costume. They've done such an incredible job. Aren't the Broadway costume designers the They're most amazing. extraordinary They're yeah. incredible. People. Jen Caprio is our, cast, is our costume designer for Spamalot, and this is actually cozy. I mean, I, I, I can't... I can't imagine wearing chain mail and shields and uh, and singing and dancing, but we do it, and uh, we are who totally else is in the show? Tell us about the okay, cast. James Monroe Eigelhart plays King Arthur. Oh my God! Leslie Rodriguez Kritzer plays the Lady in the Lake. We've got Nick Walker, Christopher Fitzgerald, Ethan Slater, who was SpongeBob. He plays it. He's in the show. Uh, Jimmy Smagula, and then all of these incredible Broadway dancers. Uh, it's an amazing cast. Oh, all right, when you win a Tony this year. Ah! Oh my God! And, yeah, see what's we're speaking into existence. We made Broadway happen. Everything, everything Mark says on this show comes, comes true. true. Will you come back and see us? Oh, absolutely. And we should we should come and do a number. Yes. Yeah, amazing people. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, guys. Monty Python, Spamalot opens on November 16th with previews beginning tonight.